What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys have been doing well since the last time I posted. Today's video is going to be uh, different from the last video, but it's going to be kind of just as interesting and fun. We're going back into sports today. I haven't talked about sports in a while. I haven't talked about sports as much as I've wanted to here, but we're going to get back into that. And today, I don't know if you can tell, I'm wearing some... Uh, Wearing some Cowboys merch because today we're going to talk about the uh, the Dak Prescott contract drama. Look, before I say anything, I just want to say this. I'm a massive Dak fan. I don't want to see him go anywhere. I would hate to see him play in another uniform, although I would watch him because, like I just said, I'm a massive Dak fan. And I think the, the whole debate is, is Dak good enough to win us the Super Bowl? Because, look, this is the Dallas Cowboys. That's the only thing that matters in Dallas. That's the only thing that matters to Jerry Jones. And that's the only person that anything has to matter to in Dallas. Because as we all know, the buck stops with Jerry. So the question becomes, does Jerry think uh, that Dak is good enough to lead this team to the Super Bowl? Or lead them to the promised land? You know what I mean? And I, I think if Dak doesn't, make, doesn't lead this team to at least an NFC Championship game... And and look, I don't think they need to win that game. I think he needs to at least have a good showing in that game and prove once and for all that he is not the reason that this team has not gotten over the hump. Because look, last year was his best career year. He's by far the best quarterback in his draft class. I think we can all agree on that. Who are we, who we going to say is better? Jared Goff or Christian Hackenberg, I think, came out in that same draft. He's by far the best quarterback in that draft, the most talented quarterback in that draft. I think it's one of the most talented quarterbacks in the league by far. I think he's top five as far as talent and all that stuff goes. But I obviously, it's a team sport. So, um, like I just said, this is probably going to be the, the toughest year in his career to make that push because the guys have gone elsewhere. You know, no Tony Pollard. Guys are, there's like a whole list of guys we've signed. And then there's like, a thing of like, eh, I think we brought in like a long snapper, which is great to have a long snapper, but we need more than a long snapper if you're going to help Dak win a Super Bowl. And I'm just going to say this. I would hate to say it, but if Dak doesn't lead this team to a, um, a, a an NFC Championship game this year, if he doesn't do that, I don't think that Jerry should give him an extension. I really don't. Because like I just said, like I've been harping on for the last couple minutes here, the only thing that matters in Dallas is championships. I'm just, I'm going to keep saying that because it's true. You know, this isn't the Cleveland Browns. This isn't, sorry, Browns fans, but this this isn't some uh, expansion team. You know, this is the Dallas Cowboys. So, and championships, those are the, those are the banners that get hung up in Dallas. And like I just said, I think Dak is more than talented enough to lead this team to a championship, to lead this team to a Super Bowl. But it's just going to depend on uh, what comes with the season. I see the season going one of two ways. Either that happens and Dak takes that extra step to lead this team farther into the playoffs, to lead this team to an NFC Championship game and maybe even a Super Bowl appearance or a victory. Or this team is last in the division because of all the players we've lost, all the talent we've lost. So I think the season's going to either be really good or really bad, you know what I mean? So I don't think there's any, there's never really any middle ground when it comes to Dallas Cowboys seasons. We're either really good and we're fighting for the division title, or we're just really bad and we're out of the race. And look, I've watched Dallas Cowboys football my entire life. I've only ever been a Cowboys fan. So I've seen some really good teams, really amazing teams that probably should have won Super Bowls not make the Super Bowl. I mean, we the we year the Super Bowl was in Dallas. I believe it was Green Bay and Pittsburgh off the top of my head. We were favored at the start of that season to go to that Super Bowl, to be the first team to, to play the Super Bowl in our own stadium, and it just didn't happen. I mean, there have been some in, incredible teams. We had the best offensive line in football for a number of years. Now most of those guys are gone. They're retired. They play for someone else. So it'll be... Uh, It'll be an interesting. Uh, it'll be an interesting season once the season eventually starts. You know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, if you like this video, remember to like it, comment on it, share it with your favorite sports comment commentator, uh, email it to your grandma. You know, hold the seance and get all your ghost buddies to watch it. <laughs> all, all that good stuff. I don't know what I'm saying over here, but until next time, guys. Uh, stay safe and uh, have fun.